we're live. I no, I don't touch your chair. Are we live? We are live. What I'm not hell? ready. You guys were just sitting there scrolling on your phone. I was on Instagram. Well, it's not even time yet. Should have let me know it was time. It's always I mean, time. He did say we had to start early, remember? Well, I did hear that, but I didn't hear that we were going to be starting early. I didn't hear it either. What's that, the DE by YouTube? Did anyone ever figure it out? The what? DE. DE. Well, I don't know. It's YouTube DE. Dutch. No. What? It, yours has that, mine does not. Double Dutch? Yeah, weird. Hello, Bill. Bill's first. He gets a prize. Hello, everyone. It's just Bill. Oh, it's just Bill? Hi, Bill. <laughs> Which Bill? Shelby, it actually is. See? Huh? Dutch. Why, do, why am I on a Dutch YouTube? <laughs> I don't know. Unsen Dagen? I think my mom's Dutch. Oh, look at that. Here we are. We're live. All right, my chair is effed up. It's, <clears throat> it's a little short, <laughs> but we're going to leave it. Okay. <clears throat> that cat freaking put her paws up on my leg and nailed out, and freaking little bitch hurts. <laughs> Scares you a little? When did she do that? Well, you were, you know. Going to the bathroom? Why yeah. don't you just say going to the bathroom? You know, you know. <laughs> just say going to the bathroom. <laughs> no, 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 you know. Stop it. <laughs> you know. You know. So anyway, welcome everyone to Charlie the Plumber. Uh, what? Wh how many shows have we done? This is ninety five. Do, do you check the titles? I I don't have the the thing on here. 95. I got Baltimore Bridge, but that's all I got. Oh. Where would I see the the amount of shows? On YouTube. Oh well, I'm episode I'm, ninety five. I'm in charge of this one here. That's all I can handle because I leave it up I'm every week. Honestly, very happy that. You figured it out by yourself. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I just don't close out of it. That's I, true. That's still a way that you figured out how to do it, and I'm happy about it. So, so anyway, <laughs> good to have everyone here, mm -hmm. uh, or Bill here. It's not showing me bot Bill, Rex so so that's cool. I think Bot Rex is just a bot. Mm. Um, mm. Why don't well, you ask him? Hey, Bot Rex, are you just a bot, or do you live somewhere, or what's the story? I mean, bots have a. A home, don't can, they? can you help me? Oh, gosh. I spoke to Thank you. Thank you. What do you need? I just need to know how come we don't have no chat. Is there no chats come up yet? Correct. Well, Bill said hello. Well, yeah. I didn't see Bill say hello. Okay. Dude. I did that. We're new here. I know it. We are new here. I don't know. All I right. Know anyway, if you go back, give me the iPad, unplug it. I don't have it on here either. Feel that. Throw that over there. Don't look at my porno, though. Stop. Sick. I'm just saying. Anyway, how's, it, <laughs> how's everyone doing tonight? Um, it's a it's a windy ace day here in Michigan. Okay, I thought something was wrong with my car because I felt it sway, and I was like, oh. Drunk again? End. Drunk again on the way home? Never. Don't, don't <laughs> say that. I would never do that. That's not a funny joke. So... Um, the other day, I got a picture from Stahava Been Drinking. So did did you get that picture? The bear. Yes, the bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, did you get the bear hung up, or did you I get, did. Did you get the bear in the kitchen of his house? Oh, this Both. is eighty nine. That's why it's not worth. So, it there. so I asked him if it was the old naked and afraid in the kitchen, and he said, "God damn right." I said, um, "Let's see if I could pull it real quick." I said, holy wah, it's going to be hard as frick to climb up there and nail your old lady. Do you have those gravity-defying condoms? Uh, I like. And that was the video of it, like. uh, the the picture of it on the ceiling. And he's probably saying, what the hell is he talking about? He responded and said, got him right. <laughs> uh, Bill says it's still snowing in, in Minnesota. How much snow did I you mean, get out there, Bill? snowed here two days ago. Yeah, I know it, but... But they get serious snow. I was told I need to fire a text to Jimmy as well to remind him because he's got about not what? much going on. Remind him about what? About the live stream. Oh. Did okay. you go out and plow? I did not. I really? did. Not. I, Lazy I, I, fuck. No, I felt guilty. There was only like an no. inch here. This is hey. more than an inch. Stop. She shut you down. 
I'm taking her freaking privileges away. This is bullshit. Hello, Tim. Good to have you. <coughs> Tim is here. Hello, Tim. Um, so anyway. Tim, not Tim M. That's why I Tim said. Not Tim R. That's why I said. Not Tim Neighbor. Yeah. Tim M. So we have a few things going on, and I don't want to jump right into them Let's until and well, we have to wait until seven o'clock on some of that stuff, just in case people aren't yeah. ready. Is it hunting related? Um, it could no, be. It's we probably could, conspiracy theory related. No, we we could get into the hunting stuff if we wanted to get into the that. The conspiracy today. theory is also interesting. Are you guys, I have this one. Are you guys out at eight? Because I need to plan my my day. Seven forty-five. Eight. Or, eight. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy, hi, Jimmy. Jimmy is Jim. here. Jimmy, you spelled my name wrong, but it's okay. I'll I'll give you a pass this time. I E Jimmy. He Don't knows. forget it's I E. It's okay. So um, Love you, Jimmy. So what's your conspiracy theory? <laughs> Are you allowed to say those words on YouTube? Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Um, my thought is I wonder. So obviously, I wonder, the, wonder. <laughs> the Baltimore <laughs> Bridge. Yes. That to me is. Because no one got hurt, so it can be. Right. It's comical. There's people missing. So, so No, they found everyone. There's so only two people. So right. tell me this. Tell Before you get into your story, can you tell me what that bridge, uh, where does it go from one side to another? I'm still on Dutch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Deutschland. <laughs> um, um, you got to give me some con. Give me some. You can't just spur those no, things no, on me. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I'll, I'll give you some time, but that is a. Um, it. Opened in 1977 okay. uh, as the final link in Interstate uh, 695, the Baltimore Beltway. Okay. Uh, the 1.6 mile bridge crossed over the uh, Pats Patapsco. Yep, uh, River, connecting Sparrow Point to the southernmost tip of Baltimore. It was a four lane bridge with vertical clearance of 185 feet, according to Maryland Transport Authority. Okay. So is on both sides of that bridge, uh, Maryland? Yes. Okay. So without you getting into your um, theory. your theory yet, can you tell me where the freighter is from? Uh, it was... Was it a Dutch one? Because if it is, Shelby's <laughs> probably got it on a computer. Yeah, for sure. Because I, that would... That would Fall right into your whole theory thing going on. Hello, Timmer. Good to have you. Uh, Bill said 11 to 12 inches for a three-day total. That's that, that, I, you know what, Bill? Uh, I can see why Luke has moved out of Minnesota because that would that, after now I'm I'm ready for friggin' summer. Um, it doesn't say where the bridge is from. The or bridge the, is from the Baltimore. The bridge is from Baltimore. The ship. Yep. The ship. The ship. Because that would that would fall right into your theory as far as you know if you had a ship from wherever. it is a foreign country yes okay um, I I did see that today uh, t -t 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 -t. he corrected your name spelling oh Jimmy you didn't Ch have to Jimmy do that. did <laughs> oh no it's not that it's it's only with an I Jimmy it doesn't no it's not Jimmy you're right. <laughs> Quit picking uh, on a cripple. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna give him everything I would give me any other time. That's fair. I'm sure. I, you I actually any other challenged them to a race the other day. I know you did. Yep, yep. And he chickened out. So you know what? The way I see it, next year it's gonna be me. I'm gonna be the big winner. I'll give him this year to friggin', you know, to the horn. Doot doot. I'm gonna. It would be really weird if a brick fell on your foot right before your <laughs> foot race. That's true. That's true. I got you, Jimmy. Don't worry. So tell I me. You to win. Tell me about your theory, Zach. Are you still looking? I'm trying to read a little bit real quick. On okay. It. Okay. Um, ah. I don't know what that is. What? You should probably look into that and see before I before I speak up. Jimmy has a. Jimmy is handicapped. It's just Jim in general. He is handicap. He has been. Um, but anyway, uh, he's actually very fast, Timmer. I mean, he's he was the fastest guy on the beach this year. So I'm going to give him that. Hello, Dave from Saginaw. Oh, Dave, cool. I, Dave, I have to ask you, do you guys still have the Hooters up there in Saginaw? Oh, my gosh. No, I, I That's love his favorite his restaurant. Favorite it restaurant. is my favorite restaurant. Guys, the first night when we went to Aruba last year, we went to dinner. Well, it was our second dinner. We went to Hooters. Hell yeah. And I was so confused. <laughs> there were so many other places to go to, and he's like, we're going to Hooters. This okay, year, okay. Never see, been. Uh, Tim M. said six people are still missing from I the bridge. I told you. So I could be wrong. Okay. I still think it's 
Um, you could be wrong. No, not not off. You could be wrong. I think it is comical because how, <laughs> like, obviously, hopefully they find everyone. Um, of course. Yeah. So so. But it's crazy because this ship has hit multiple other things. Really, this same ship. They had the same issue. Same know, captain. Things. I'm glad. He uh, same captain. Same master is what they called it. Okay. Um, What's that? He's a fisherman on board. <laughs> He's yeah. the best fisherman on board. <laughs> yeah, the master. Yeah. Um, he hit. I'm ignoring you. He pulled into a uh, into a dock and just smoked the whole. Now, there's a lot of things that go into it, but it, he smoked the whole dock. We're, com- right we're coming in the dock, you guys. <laughs> Get ready to throw well, some lines. If that's the case, that he should be done. Like, done sailing, not done living. Well, maybe they he presume owns the f- six dead. Wow. Which is terrible. Yeah. Um, that's, they, that's it sounds horrible. like they were road workers. I don't. That's even worse. Not, the people that work. No, I'm just saying, not worse because every human life is valuable, but like people who, you know. Work hard. Yep. Timmer said six construction workers who were working oh on the asphalt. Gosh. That's terrible. Yeah, can I say something to Jimmy? Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a busted plunger, Jimmy. So. Uh, That's funny, Jimmy. Well, Jimmy, th- are you using your thumbs or are you using voice to text? He thinks he's a friggin' joker. He is a um, joker. But yeah, that that's terrible. Now, have you? Do you guys remember? And you probably don't. I don't even know. We'd did have you to see how quick it tumbled, though. I did. Mm. Like I did. I'm. Don't get me wrong. A freighter is massive, and it had how, like nine hundred. Was it? Jimmy's uh, really well, hurt by what you said. Yeah. Okay. It had like nine hundred and eighty cargo containers on it. Okay. Um. So but it so, crumbled like like nothing. So it's going to be a race. Are you ready? For the two most useless information guys that we have on this channel right yes. now, yeah. How much did that freighter weigh? Are you talking about me? No, I'm talking about Jimmy and Timmer. Oh. You know, if if Jim can't pull this out of his hind end about how much the freighter weighed, he knows how much every freighter weighs for crying out loud. And Timmer's just got so much useless knowledge in anyway. Last June, the federal inspectors rated the 47-year-old bridge in fair condition, but the structure did not appear to have uh, did not appear to have peer protection to withstand the crash, experts say. Well, hell no. I mean, uh, what are so all these boxes? Oh, those are like shipping that, containers. Yeah, that's they a container. They look so small. No like wonder Legos. why our Amazon packages didn't come today. What? Oh, that's pretty crazy. How many shipping containers on there? 980. Wow. They look like Legos, don't they? Yeah, they do. And, and well, that, that, each that one that of them, how huge. much does the shipping container weigh itself? I think 30,000 pounds. What? Oh. How does Google that it. thing float? Because it's somewhat sealed. That's or like maybe me it's... on the plane wondering how planes stay in the air. And then I'm like, <gasps> I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. I can't see. <laughs> oh, does a what? Cargo? There you go. Uh, way to go, Tim M. You dusted both of them little friggin' a cargo ship. Ding no. dongs. What is it? A cargo. One hundred and sixteen thousand eight hundred fifty-one tons. It's from Sri Lanka. Is that one right? ton? Is that right next to Jeb Lanka? A, a ton is a ten foot, a ten foot shipping pounds. container. Uh, weighs in the region of one ton. A twenty a, foot is one point eight to two point two. And a 40-foot shipping container weighs around 3.8 to 4.2 tons. How do you convert tons to pounds? Wait a minute. No. Do you see this? We have a race between Tim and Tim R, Tim R, Tim R and Tim M. You know, so so Tim M freaking kicked their ass. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he just right away just smoked them. And then Timmer's like, no, it wasn't that. It was 117,000 pounds. Tons. I, but yeah, tons. Sorry. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so with that thing smashing into it, it, it crumbled like a friggin' it, it crumbled like Jimmy eating a sandwich. <laughs> I mean, it, it was that Jimmy's fast. Shaking it, his head at you. It, it went down that fast. It happened at 1.35 a.m. So, so do you think the skipper was actually sleeping and he put someone in the wheelhouse? 
Oh, I don't know. Because obviously, if you get some, because now, now I don't, I didn't really see it. I just seen it on Facebook. Um, but I saw it, on Instagram. it showed that maybe there was some smoke where they had maybe an engine issue, and then they re- couldn't readjust. Is it was that the case? It had a U.S. Pi- pi- pilot captain on it. Yeah. See, because a lot of times what will happen is if you have a foreign ship, um, certain areas you have to bring a a pilot from the area. And correct me if I'm wrong on this, guys, but I think the Detroit River going up through um, between the Detroit River and Lake Huron, I think they have to bring a pilot in there as well. A pilot? Yeah. Well, it's basically to to control the ship. That's so weird. Airplanes and boats? Yeah. Um. Francis Scott Keybridge facts: uh, 1.6 miles, four uh, f- four lane span, um, a hazardous material truck route. Uh, so these are just random facts. An estimated of 11.5 million vehicles cross that bridge annually, 30,000 a day. Uh, I'm sorry. Say again. How many? Uh, 11.5 million. Uh, annually, so annually. every year, and okay. then 30,000 a day. Okay. Uh, the Baltimore Harbor is the second largest seaport in the mid in, mid Atlantic. Uh, the uh, bridge was under was undergoing maintenance, but was open to traffic. Uh, construction started in 1972 was, and was open in 1977. Um, Sorry, it was named after Francis Scott Key, who wrote the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, um, it you cost. Didn't know that? One hundred and ten million, and the vertical clearance was one hundred and eighty-five. But it doesn't help when the pillars are going up and down, right? right. So, so, is there a different way, like from that part of from like one end of the bridge to the other, or is that the only connecting? I think spot? that is one of the only connecting. Jeez. Power right. issues reported before the crash. And yeah, they lost control of their ship, is what happened. But I did hear that they radioed in two minutes before. They got to the bridge, so police were able to stop the flow of traffic from people getting onto the bridge. Oh, so why the fuck happened. did they have people working on there? I don't know. This okay. says... Uh, think about how fast two minutes goes by. Yeah. Like, seriously. I think that's a long time. I think so, too. Do I think someone should have shot down in a police car and just gathered everybody in there? Yes. Well, if they, if they had six of them, you would think that someone would have just haul ball, hauled balls... And took off and, and went and got them. You'd think. That's what but, I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, that, that's one of them things that... But they that, did make known. Right. A friggin' dog. That's sad. Um, so Jimmy said that, yes, you do need to have a pilot going up through St. Clair into Lake Huron because there is some very shallow spots in that river. Jimmy, I don't like how you're spelling pilot. 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 He's drunk. He's drunk again. No. He's <laughs> just... <laughs> Timmer said it would be like CTP falling down the stairs. No stopping till the end. <laughs> uh, we love Timmer. So, so how in the hell are they going to cross over now? Because that bridge is going to take, you know, look at the... Ten uh, years minimum. Yeah, well, look at the... Uh, how long has the uh, Gordy Hall Bridge been worked on? How, when did that start? Probably five years ago. Well, you ago. got a computer sitting in front of you. <laughs> Usually we say, hey, Shelby, can you look up, see when the Gordy Hall Bridge yeah, was started? Yeah, but then she's just it's sitting true. there staring at us. Um, opening is expected in 2025. Um, September of 2025. It started in June of 2018. So seven years it's going to take to rebuild a bridge, not not including the... Uh, all the paperwork and all the other, so that, they're going to be without ten for years. ten years. Ten years. And how the hell do you figure that out when thirty thousand vehicles cross that road? Yeah, yeah. And and so it's going to change everything up there. It's going to change where people work, where people mm-hmm. shop, um, where they live. You know, if if you now now where is it? Does it show where the nearest uh, crossing point is compared to that one? There's got to be something. Tim M. said, here you go, prices of everything are going up, and that's true. I mean, they'll use that for whatever. Uh, 
But anyway, so so we had in in the past, we had like when the Zilwaukee Bridge here in Michigan was made. Mm-hmm. Do you guys remember the issue with that? Nope. No. So what? What so is it? The what bridge? Zilwaukee Bridge. So what happened was when they uh, brought this point over to this point and they were setting pillars in the middle of it, the friggin' pillars didn't line up. So there was like a friggin' <laughs> two or three foot drop. <laughs> so they had to change the whole thing. And is that why it goes like this? Yeah, probably. There's a big, it's like a roller coaster. But mm-hmm. check that out. Maybe maybe someone can tell me what I, I think. Do we remember when it was being built? When was it built? 1979. Really? Why would we remember Holy that? Shit. Wow! <laughs> you didn't even know mom then. Uh, no, you're right. But but there. Ha- when was the issues? Does it say when the it issues were? It opened in 1987. Okay, so that's probably when they had the issues. Was 84, 85? I'm a, I'm assuming. Mm. But uh, yeah, what happened is the friggin' it inju- collapsed. No, it, it, I don't think it collapsed. When did the Zilwaukee Bridge in Michigan collapse? August 1982. Okay. So ask why it collapsed or what happened to it. So so oh, it was uh, half complete and a major construction accident halted all the work in 1982. Okay. Um, what uh, what caused it and what was done to remedy the situation? I have to read. I don't know how. Can you look and see what that friggin' dog is doing over there? I can't I, I can't see. I can't see her. I'm sure. So we're in the corner by the uh, oh the two of them are. Yeah. The her and the cat. That's fine. She's trying to get a ball behind the. Uh, oh yeah, black could be. thing over there. Um, so yeah, that that's a that's a huge thing. And and in the past, we've had a couple of. Would you call that a? Uh, you know, you you really can't call that an engineering, uh, thing. You had you're basically you had lost power. So so, so who this, pays for it? Oh, that company is the shipping company is done. Yeah. But but even still, the shipping company has got. What do you mean they're done? A, a certain amount of liability, I'm assuming. But oh, there's yeah. no friggin' way it's going to cover everything. So now you got a tax bond. You got a this, that, whatever. Oh yeah. Um, cousin Jeffy said Zilwaukee was uh, the pillars weren't deep enough on the rock bed. Okay. Uh, the survey drilling was incorrect. That, there you go. You know what it is? It's some damn engineer's yeah, job. That's true. Is he an engineer? He is. Oh, okay. I had a feeling. Well, he's retired now, so I don't know if he, if he's uh, still classified as an engineer. Is it once you're an engineer, you're always an engineer? Well, how is it like, for plumbing? Like a doctor? Oh, I've, I tomorrow you can friggin' throw me out and never have me come back. I'm I'm okay with that. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, so also you had, back years ago, you had the Valdez. Where you had the Valdez, look up the Valdez. How do you the spell oil, that? the oil spill, V A L D E's. <laughs> um, but they had that back in the back in the day when they had the Valdez oil spill, and that was huge as well. So this is not the first bridge uh, to have collapsed in the past one hundred years. Um, there is actually a lot of them. You know, before we get going, can I can I interject here now that Jeff is in the room? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because this is the first time I've seen him in here. I just want to congratulate Jeff for walking the Appalachian Trail. Wow. He yeah. walked. He he hiked that bitch. It was like it's like twenty two hundred miles long. It is two thousand one hundred and ninety plus miles. And and that's pretty badass. I mean, Jeff is no spring chicken. Um, tip top physical shape, but twenty twenty two hundred miles is a long friggin' way. A typical through hiker takes five to seven months to hike the entire trail. Yeah, wow. yeah. That's that, and I know he had a couple of breaks, but I think that's badass. It still counts. And, and oh yeah, absolutely. And and I wish that some of the stuff you know you you see the the stuff that he's brought back. Um, as far as the pictures and, and, you know, when everything was going on, you, you know, you read the stuff, but you really didn't take it into effect until you go back and you look at it and you go like, like, you know, sleeping outside under a friggin' shelter and Mm -hmm. shit like that. I mean, that, that's pretty incredible. But, uh, so, so I'm going to give him a golf clap for that. Now, all right. So I was told the other day that 
I because that's why I thought that the golf clap was three fast claps, and and you, like, no, like like. <clears throat> Maybe that's fast for your speed, but that's kind of <laughs> yeah, slow. Well, no, I, and, and I, I guess I'm looking to make sure I get the right clap for a golf clap. That's sure. Um, <clears throat> um, Tim M. said Biden said the feds would cover the bridge replacement. Oh, oh boy. Uh, Timmer said, will Biden remember that commitment tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what we could do is, being that they're up there, we can just route them all through Canada. That's true. You know, and then every time they pass the uh, the the border crossing, they can get one of the maple syrup twenty dollar bills. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Shelby could sniff it right there. Um, I still never knew that that wasn't real until my dad's Canadian. Until my dad said something to his Canadian friend. Oh, he friggin' hook line and sinkered you. Yeah. Okay, that's so awesome. Anyway, back, back to, to the, the bridge. bridge. Yes. Um, Weird. in modern. <laughs> Modern history, what do you think the most recent collapse is? Mm. That I don't know. Don't know. You tell me. Uh, you see how um, he the, stops? Well, I'm trying to read. Oh, <laughs> sorry. There's a... Uh, so the next soonest, there's also one um, bridge partially collapsed in China. Not that that matters to America, but it is the most recent, and that was February 22nd. Mm. How'd that collapse? Um, improper operations by uh, ship crew caused the collision, according to officials. Okay. Um, the container ship 66 uh, Linghai uh, 688 collided with um, Blank Bridge twice while navigating through the waterway. It wasn't good enough the first time, so they said, fuck it, we're taking it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome, Sergio. Long time no see, What's buddy. Going on, Sergio. Awesome. He's got his new name, Sergio Outside. So um, um, the one prior to that was 2007, the Mississippi River Bridge. Okay. So, so I guess my question. But that was just a small one. So I'm thinking that the bridge oh. in uh, when you go down by Metro Airport, mm -hmm. um, that to me, I've always okay. heard, huh? The one like six miles away from Metro Airport. With all of things that you drive Yeah, under? where they where they're going up. Yeah. I was told that that bridge uh suspends itself from up top, not from down below. I don't know what that means. Well, it basically it holds as, itself up. Hold, yeah, it holds itself up. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know if that's true or not. <clears throat> Sounds fishy. But is that there's no water underneath it. I don't care. Why would it suspend? <laughs> Where is it suspending from? Well, I'm I'm asking a question. I, I'm I'm asking if that's the case. What what's uh, can they do this without the friggin can they repair it pil without the pillars in the water? I mean, you know, it would be like if you were gonna if you were gonna make your bridge over your favorite creek mm -hmm. in the woods and you just nail a bunch of two by fours together. They also said that this Seems bridge like to in uh, Baltimore had no not that they also said it wouldn't have done much. But it also had no guards preventing anything from hitting the pillars. I don't know what that means. Oh. So, I'm sorry. Say again. So okay. the the pillars itself had normally bridges have some sort of guardrail or yep. something around it. This that one they had would nothing hit instead oh. of the bridge. Gotcha. But but when, when you're talking nine hundred and eighty thousand ton, oh yeah, that bitch is gonna take that friggin' thing right out. Uh, the Mississippi River Bridge in Minnesota, Minnesota. Uh, that was the one in two thousand seven. It was the third busiest bridge in Minnesota, carrying 140,000 vehicles a day. It collapsed into the Mississippi River during rush hour, uh, evening rush hour mm. on August 1st, killing 13 people and injuring 145. What the heck? Uh, Timmer, for some reason, I think you spelled onion rings wrong. <laughs> what? I don't uh, get it. They, we have some comedians, so, so Jimmy said it was Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand onion rings. That's the song. The okay. song Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Sure. Uh, the same thing happened in 2002 uh, in Oklahoma after a, fr uh, a freighter barge struck a pillar uh, supporting the bridge. Mm -mm -mm. So clearly there's just a lot of people that shouldn't be driving boats. You think this guy loses his job? He should, <laughs> but, I mean, there's but here's ways. the thing. They probably have insurance, just like doctors have malpractice insurance. Just because a doctor's patient dies well, doesn't it, mean that 
they aren't a doctor anymore. Was it really his fault, though, if you had power loss? Exactly. It's not it's really like his fault. His it's, it's the motor like engineer the, down the, in the... In the the uh, steering went wrong. Yeah. I'm sure that whenever anything like this happens, people find a way to, what do you call it, to get out of the blame. So you didn't like my idea of rebuilding a bridge with two-by-fours, nailing them together? It would probably work. <laughs> Going across. <laughs> Just checking. It seems like it happens about every 10, 8 to 12 years. That's scary. Um, same thing happened in 1980 in Florida. 1,200-foot um, bridge. Hopefully the next bridge isn't the one that goes to the cabin. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very... If uh, you can't get off that bridge, you better... You just got to stay. Or yeah. you can't come in. Well, that is good news because you would have to go drive all the way. You would actually have to hike in. Yeah. Exactly, um, and I'm not doing that. Well, no, but <laughs> you Travis know, we is here. Hello, a, Trav. We should get a drawbridge for that yeah. <laughs> at the cabin. So you just hit a button and it just... Oh, well, that'd be cool. <laughs> um, Shelby, could you do me a favor and look yes. up engineers oh, wearing Mr. iron Adam. rings? I was going to say that, but then your dad ahead, started talking ahead, to me. Go ahead, Shelby. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Shelby. Um, Eric has been a member for 20 months today. Everybody give him a round of applause. You so. got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not around. Does he have a beard? I, don't know. I think he does we have a beard. Know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think he's here funny. today. <laughs> Who's not here? Eric. Or, uh, Eric. Oh, badass. Well, we can't even give him a friggin' round of applause if he's not here. Then. Mm -hmm. That's true. How, Fuck so, him. <laughs> so how, so how does this green Engineers thing come up? Wearing because it's probably it's just, the anniversary. Yeah. Oh, okay. What did you say for me to look up? B A. The king of the world! <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, you should get that on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to uh, just write down the time. 716. 16 minutes or 30 minutes in. Well, it's, you know, it's crazy that... What, so have you heard about the solar eclipse coming? I did. I don't did. I, I don't to see it. Well, I now here's the thing. The moon or the eclipse isn't just over Ohio or but they say that all them friggin' uh hotels and stuff are all they're all uh, sold out oh, down there. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then I guess you can buy them cool glasses as well. Didn't they do that last time? Yeah. Is yeah, but this a solar eclipse or a lunar This eclipse? is like what? so there's also a conspiracy theorist the theory about that that um, the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, I, I think the moon has changed over the years because years ago it looked like a banana, and they always had that person hanging on the on the bottom of the bridge or okay. the, uh, Texas the moon. Texas is the best state for the eclipse viewing. When is it? April eighth. April eighth. So be, that's when next week. No, it's a week from now. A week from Monday. No. So it's a week no. at it's a week after it's a week Easter. After next. Yes. Yep, yeah. So I'll be I'll be here in Michigan. What yeah. time does it start, Shelb? I don't know if it oh. has like a time. It's is not. It? It's not a movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably radio. Right I won't, won't you know won't be able to get in there. So you think if I walked around with my welding hat, would a welding hat work? For what? I think or do so. I or do I need special glasses? I think, I think you, you need. Special I think glasses. you should wear the welding helmet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the same uh, one that you wear while you vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my hockey helmet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it actually, okay, so there's a um, chart here that says what location you're in, like what state, what time it the partially begins, what time it totally begins, um, the maximum eclipse, when it ends in totality, and then when it's partially done. So there's timestamps. So, for example, if you're in Dallas, Texas, the total eclipse begins so at 140. I'm in the middle of a sentence. So there is. It's I'm like in a movie. the middle of a sentence. <laughs> it's what? It's like a movie. There is but a time no. that it starts. Well, so you were wrong. Okay. Um, true. And then um, Cleveland, Ohio. So while it starts at 140 p.m. in Texas, it starts 313 p.m. in Cleveland, Ohio. But the closest place to us probably would either be Evansville, Indiana, or Cleveland, Ohio. You guys want to take a road or trip? Or Illinois. No. I didn't think so. Me neither. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, potentially, but like. So badass is here. He was watching TV. Shame what on the heck, Shame Eric. on him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it, Shelp? Can you get it? No, my uh, contacts are blurry. It's too late now. It's too late. No, I just gave you a little pre 
Well, you've slow. used that one already. You have to change and get something else. What? Lo- like, what, else is what the dog doing? Well, you can't do that if he's wrong. That doesn't make sense. Jeff what is going to Finley, Ohio good? for it. Where? Finley, Ohio. Maybe it's close to Cleveland. Um, no, Finley is actually about two hours away, I think. Two, two and a half hours away from Cleveland. Cleveland is five hours from here. And uh, when I go down and see them Where? hooligans Finley? from Ohio... Um, they're probably, it's probably about two hours from here. So it's probably about three hours. That's good. Good job. Yeah, that's what I do. That's why I'm who I am. Sure. Whatever you say. So they're saying that the solar eclipse is going to be the start of all the, uh, the, the bullshit that could happen. Oh, are we back on your theories? That, yes. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I'm trying to find it. So they're, they claim that. There is a, um, and this is what my coworker told me. There is uh, where the solar eclipse passes through. It passes through cities that all have to do with biblical references. Okay. The whole way through, there's like a dozen of them. Okay. Whatever it is, um, and I can't find any specific. For what? What are you talking about? So they're saying that conspiracy theorists are saying that this is a this is a whatever biblical. Thing because every city or a lot of the cities like Y2K, that, yes, why similar to that, just okay. a whole bunch of a shit. But um, cool. I can't find any good theories on it of what the eclipse, yes. So, um, Timmer said northern lights are supposed to be very bright tonight in Canada and northern U.S. Um, so the wife seen we went snowmobiling last year and the wife seen the northern lights up in the UP. And she was so damn giddy on that, which I've seen them before, but they are cool as hell. What? The Northern Lights. I, I want to see those at some point in my life. B-Swan's here. Welcome, Hello, B. B-Swan. What's going on, B-Swan? Um, I want to see the Northern Lights. And I did you see what, to all 50 states. Did yeah, you see I'm, what B-Swan said? <laughs> Shelp, did what? you see what B-Swan said? No, I said your turn, B-Swan. <laughs> Suppose, <laughs> did you get my reference? No, I didn't no. hear your reference. Uh, B Swan. Supposedly, people from Dubai rented an entire hotel floor in Lima, Ohio. Lima, Ohio. Lima, Ohio. But they regret that. Perhaps they do. Um, but and and that's weird <laughs> because if they did, I mean, is that it? Is that was that what the solar eclipse would look like? Um. You know, they made a song out of that total eclipse of the heart. I'm not sure who sang not, it. I mean, Pat yeah. Benatar or something like that. that no. Oh, <laughs> Pat sorry. Benatar? First contact is in Texas, so Travis will see it first. Okay. Trav, you know what we could do? Bonnie Tyler. Let's send him a camera, and we could you have can't. a roving reporter. That's true. That would be awesome. <laughs> you can't catch it on camera, I don't think. Why can't you? I just don't think you can. I think it gets pitch black out. Oh, really? Is that what it, it is? It? Yeah. Huh. Well, how the hell do you know if it's friggin'... Because you got all lights and whatnot. What do you mean so, the lights? So you're saying what do you that mean cover- the lights? What so do you mean? <laughs> so what do you mean lights? No, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's hear it. Because what if you have all the lights on when it's dark outside at night? So are you saying that? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the lights? So so I'm saying that if he lives in the big city, <laughs> yeah. you have all the city lights. Sure. What about it, nightlife when you're going out at night? There's what the hell no are you sun. talking about? There's still no sun when it's nighttime. Well, well, is that is is the this during the day? Black. Is yes. this during the daytime? Yes. Oh. Did you hear my timestamps? No, I, I I obviously did not listen to you Holy at all. Holy cow! Did not listen to you. Sorry, Shelb. Let's start over again. <laughs> <laughs> so there's going to be a solar eclipse in the United States. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was like I thought it was like a moon thing. Since August twenty first, twenty seventeen was the last one. So basically, this blocks the sun. Wasn't something it? blocks the sun, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The moon okay. covers the sun. Um, okay. Did you hear Timmer's theory? Uh, here in Canada, we have a theory that if your aunt had nuts, it would be your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> True story. True story. I can't. Him and Stahov have the same sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And the good news, that one took us over the top. It got us seven likes. Wow. Yeah. Travis said it's a big deal in Texas. So, Travis, what do you think of our do- idea of the roving reporter down in Texas? You, you can hear, you'd be like, 
Hello, this is Travis. I am in Texas right now. We are live with the solar eclipse. And can you see it? Can you see it? No. No. It's really dark out. <laughs> okay. I'm in total path. So he's in total path of 30% darkness. Hello, Lucas. Do you think they're singing, Hello, darkness, my old friend? Uh. I had, so I had, um, Remember when it that's the snowstorm we just talked about that we had a few days what was it last week or something? I was late to work. It just it was a little bit of a light sprinkle snow and started like blizzarding. I couldn't even see and I was late to work. Okay. And you know I what, had on, You know what I'm gonna say about that? <coughs> sure. You should have left fifteen minutes I early. I did. Okay. I did. Then a half an hour would be more appropriate. I guess. So because uh, I did hear it was supposed to snow in the morning. But I had, because I, I was, like, getting nervous, so I put on my Spotify chill mix. Oh. And then that song, because it, it randomly oh, yeah, switches, yeah. Hello Darkness, My Old Friend came on. I was like, what is this, Skip? But now it's stuck in my head. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. the only, those are the only words I know, though. What yeah, about you? Oh, yeah. That's okay. Is that the same for you or no? Uh, how about the total eclipse from the heart? Those are the only words I know, too. Oh, you did look up who sang it. I was wrong. Bonnie Tyler. Do you know who that is? Yeah, I think so. This is her. She sings something else as well. She's I'm got another sure she's singing well, she, more songs. She has another <laughs> popular one as well, Jack Gosh. Wagon. Ryan's here. Holy cow. Who? Ryan is, is someone that I work with. Oh, cool. Heading Ryan. to Catabawa Island for the, the eclipse. Do some walleye fishing. Nice. And family time. Yep. We will be in uh, Kelly Island on the 6th and 7th. I'm going to be down there fishing with Wild Bill. Wild Bill. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, plus, plus, I'm getting a hotel down there, and Wild Bill is going to stay on Friday and Saturday as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you're going to be drunk. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Um, so anyway. Oh, Canada. <laughs> No, that's a different different person. I know, but you right. can still party like Timmer. There you go. Because I feel like Timmer parties harder than anybody here. So For him, it's not even considered partying. That's his everyday life. True. Wow, they know how to party in Detroit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, that's what Bill is going to be saying. I now, you can imagine Timmer open up the ice hut. And all I can see in the back of my head is a couple of guys with them big friggin' fuzzy hats. I want one of those that, that so fold bad. up, you know, like <laughs> yes. like they look like they're friggin' uh, from across the pond or something like that. And they all got cigarettes hanging out of their oh, mouth, yeah. and they're drinking like a Schlitz beer. What is uh, that? That is that Christmas? Is that National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Is that? I think so. Yes. I've never seen that movie. I think so. Uh, Don't CTP tell and, Tyler and Wild Bill that. swing on the brass pole. No, we might be watching someone swing on the brass pole, but you didn't see this fat ass up on the pole. This is what I picture. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that is the hat. This is what I was picturing, yes. except fuzzy. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know that he's in his friggin' swampers yes. and his whatever, his robe, and he's whatever got the snowblower going. He's got his hat on because he wanted to catch it before he left for yeah. work. Oh, boy. Uh, there you go. Grumpy old man ice fishing. I told Jimmy the other day that I wanted to be like grumpy old men years what? ago. You know, Why? did you ever see the movie Grumpy Old Men? No. Really? I, I've, I mean, I've never seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. There's no way I've seen Grumpy you, Old Men. You need to watch Grumpy Old Men one day when you guys are, are sitting around doing nothing, having a beer or two. That's a pretty good movie. We don't really do that. You don't sit around and drink beer no more? No. What the hell? All you um, got to do is give me a call and say, hey, old man, you want to come up and drink some beer? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, got drink, nothing but, I got nothing but time at drink, this point. We drink sugar-free grape and cherry Kool-Aid. Oh, that sounds like fun. And water. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you back me up? Or no, say I, all I do is drink. I'm a classic drinker. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> this is what I want. Look yeah, it, that's look that's the same thing, but you gotta me. you gotta put the snaps up. Oh my gosh, you have to choose a size. How do you know what size? What size hat do we wear? I wear. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got the same <laughs> hat as me. <laughs> what what size hat? You <laughs> go all the way to the bottom, honey. What size hat? You go do we all wear? the way to the uh, bottom. This is the bottom. What hat? Seven and five eighths is gonna Get be your out of size. Town, are yes, you serious? Are eight inch hat. Oh Holy God. shit. Oh. Yep. Extra you, large you and stormy no, chrome. It's Come either an extra on. large or a 2X. No, it was extra. 
can you get your eyes checked? I, I'm trying to look over here. It's not like I'm copying <laughs> off you for a test or anything. <laughs> seven and three eighths is a large. Yeah, but you don't wear a seven and three eighths. You wear a seven, seven and five eighths. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank seven you. Seven and five eighths yeah. is an extra large, yeah. not Big an extra head. extra large. Oh. Every time I'm done, he looks over and I have to bring it back up. Seven and five eighths. Yes, do you see it? That's an extra large. Travis, yes, he is. Right here. Do you see? Yes, I do. Seven and five eighths. Thank you. Shelby, Timmer what? said, uh, I will send you a hat, Shelby, if you promise to wear it at least two episodes. Oh, what, that what would, kind of hat? He said, I'll send you a hat. That as would be as awesome. It's not shaped like a. He, no, there's no rules. This is an agreement. You make the agreement now, I hope and he sends a, a hat. I hope it's a black stormy cromer with the fur down the sides. How about something like this? <laughs> yeah, show? that'd be a cool hat. I would wear that, but I wear a size what size? Seven, seven and five, five eights. eights. An eight inch a, head. I got a. It's not eight inches. <laughs> oh, it's seven and five eights. And I that, know that's how boy math works, but that's not that's not how it actually works. Oh, one with the ear flap hat. You got to yeah. get that, Shelb. Yeah, absolutely. That's An what ear flap hat. Timmer yes, said he I was. Would love it. <laughs> I, that's what I want. I can, All right. I, wait, so, hang on. I have to turn my computer around and show Timmer what I'm looking at. So can this you? This is the Stormy Cromer hat that I'm looking at. That I'm going to have. One his day. is going to be made out of a uh, some sort of animal skin. Yeah, which would be so much cooler. Well, that, absolutely. I don't think that this will show up for him to see. Uh, I'm looking. Hasn't come around. Turn yet. towards this computer. Or yes, you're good. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, you can see it. Yep. You can see it. Yep, he's going to have a couple of pair of old dirty underwear for the ear flaps on both sides. Okay, if it's a handmade hat with your own clothing, even better. No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't want She wants one that has a mask that pulls up and it's this yeah, dirty underwear. No. I'm going to cancel you. Well, that's in you. case it really gets yeah, cold yeah. out. I'm canceling you both. Anyway, guys. Uh, uh, oh, Canada. I love all this Stormy Cromer stuff. You know, Storm, the the thing that I have an issue with with Stormy, <laughs> wow, they got a lot of new stuff. This is only women's. That's probably why it looks oh, good to you. Oh, yeah, it could be. <laughs> Timmer could be. said um, seven and nine eighths, Shelby. That's how big your head is. No, that's over eight. <laughs> oh, hey, you <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> what? It was a joke. Oh, it went right over my head. <laughs> if you smell it, there will be a hint of maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, Timmer, Timmer said. I can't. No, that's not true. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. You fell for that maple syrup thing, too. And <laughs> so did you. Uh, we all fell for it. Why no, do we only make fun of me? <laughs> because you're the only one that's on record. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. not true. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> I, I'm excited that you're going to get yourself a new hat. Um, we'll see. Yeah, you you never know. But uh, So the thing I don't like about the Stormy Cromer hat, I, I, I like the hat itself. Yeah. There but goes any sponsorship. Well, yeah, no, I, I just, I, I'm, I want. I love it, guys. No, I, I do love it, but I want a little bit stiffer brim. But here's the, the thing: the brim is so stiff. What do you? Yeah, mean? but here's the thing: when you get a stiffer brim, I, I like to wear my hat curved down. You can't wear a stormy curved down. It's got to be straight. Yeah. So, that's so the look I'm, of the hat. so I'm almost thinking going with like an eight inch. So that I can pull it over my ears and have my ears tucked yeah, in. Yep, yep. I think, and then have it straight brim, or even curl up the front of the brim a little bit, kind of like the orange one you got from Jeepa. Yep. You still got that one? Yeah, it doesn't you fit my fucking head. He had the world's <laughs> smallest head. He did have a tiny head. So I have a I have a hat stretcher. Bring that thing down, and I'll slowly stretch it. Okay. Because I'd like to see you wear it at deer camp. This okay. Year. Yeah. I uh, a I tried what is to stretch it last year. Yeah, with a bowling ball, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it didn't, didn't work. Didn't that bowling ball break? No, I I actually have a hat stretcher because when you get a friggin' melon like Shelby's, you got to sometimes <laughs> yeah. stretch that thing out. Do you um, know how much the Mackinac coat is from Stormy? I do not. I don't even know what a what a the Mackinac, Mackinac coat, coat is, is. Basically, a flannel. Okay. Um, or based off the way I see it. It's three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Wow! Wow! So, so it's t- made out of pure Timmer pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> so, so that would be called a Merkin hat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Shelby, <laughs> you guys are annoying me. So Timmer wants to know: Did you agree to two episodes or not? Yeah. So yeah, you're. So I agree. look well, at you, this camera and say, "I, Shelby." I. I'm not in court. 
<laughs> you, you are in court. I this will... is the people's court here, <laughs> baby. I will. I will wear the hat for two episodes. What do you guys know about this hat? We need a formal agreement. I, we we me, do not. Will wear the hat for two episodes. What's your name? Me, Shelby. <laughs> Shelby. Okay. <laughs> Legally, you're bound to this agreement. I don't this is not like the trumpet and some of these other ones that you've agreed to, like the ski jump. I never <laughs> agreed to the ski <laughs> jump. And the, ever. And the uh, 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 jumping out of the airplane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ju- I will never jump out of an airplane. Absolutely not. Stop. Never ever. Travis just said, "I see a dog." Yes. Doggy. This is Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou is, uh, today she's being a little bit, having some issues. Her and the cat are fighting about something over there. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. So he's going to box you up tomorrow <laughs> and even throw in a couple of extra items. Timmer. And what you you will only be able to open it live yeah, on gotta, the stream. I don't live. even get to see it prior no, to. I get to o- well, I have to wear it when we start. You can, yeah. That will be the first thing we do on the live. Welcome, Robert. Oh boy. Welcome Hi, to Robert. the show. Who's Robert Kruger? Uh, Do we know him? I don't think so. But I'm happy they stopped by to check it out. Yeah. He's on Facebook. Robert. Facebook. So um, we got you the hat now. Okay. I think you, you need knew like, about this, didn't you? <coughs> no. Huh? You, you didn't know about this. We, no, I, I no have idea, no idea. You're the one that brought up the whole hat. I have I no idea about the hat. I think it's going to be awesome that you're going to get a hat from your Canadian. Uh, neighbors, mm-hmm. so and and I think that it's going to be great that you're going to be able to wear it on the show. So that day, you know what I'm going to do? I'm leaving the heat down, and we're not turning the heat on, so that way you won't be too hot with your hat. That's hats. true. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay. How about that uh, Stormy Cromer vest? Does that fit you by chance? I have it at the house. I, I think I had you wash it because it's full of dog hair and oh, they yeah. haven't put in because it's not yeah oh, I, I don't oh. think you can i don't think the dog hair will come out by washing it will it i don't know what we're talking about yeah. i would that, have to that it's black a vest. it's been a while i don't know yeah, yeah. no it's sure. all good yeah it don't fit me anymore so i ain't got to worry about but putting it all back of on. their stuff is very expensive it is it is like that vest 200 to 210 dollars that's so not but you have to realize that you know once you 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 buy it for looks you buy it for life So, but one thing I have found is if you don't wear them for a while, you actually have to go out and and walk around a little bit. Yeah, they do shrink up a little bit. (laughs) Yeah, it'll be like. Or um, does your brain just get bigger? Oh, it could be. He's talking about the shirts. (laughs) It it could be like my my um, Super K's neighbor down in Florida. He had a lion's hat. And I should bring that down so that I can show people next time. Yes. But he's got this lion's hat, and he's got it's got the Velcro on the back. Mm-hmm. His melon, Shelby, is so big that the Velcro didn't stick together. It doesn't even close. Yeah, it didn't even close. <laughs> Him but and Shelby have the same size head. Stop yeah. it. Eight, nine, eight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I tried to wear the, I tried to stretch the, the, the vest, but all I could get out of it was the vest breast. <laughs> Um, they had to relocate the buttons. Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, they relocated themselves. <laughs> yeah, to the neighbor's yard. That's Bing. right. That's right. Oh, so yeah. anyway, um, it's getting late. It is getting late, but it's it's been a good it's been a good day already. It has. You didn't even get to get to some of your topics. No, and these are new topics. Zach I had the Zach started us out with the uh, with the theory topics. Mm-hmm. I have a fun fact that I'm excited about, but I shouldn't say that because now everyone's not going to like it. Why? Because it's I don't know. I think it's cool and it's interesting. Okay. Okay. So, um we we'll get into it a little bit. I don't think we want to get real heavy tonight. Um, but one thing we do need to do yeah. is we need to make sure that we apply for our bear permit. Oh again. yeah, and uh, our you bear didn't perm- get it, did you last year? No, no, we, no one did. But you, you do have to do it year after year. You're building points, which means you have. Oh, she can't because she doesn't have hunter safety. Um, yeah, I think it was just me and you that signed up last year, and we went in as partner as partner points. So you should be able to go on uh, Michigan DNR. Pull up your name. No, you do not need a licensed hunter to apply for a bear permit in Michigan, which means she needs to apply because I, then she can jump onto ours. I think she did. I think you bought uh, points for both, or I think you got uh, both her and 
myself and you point. last is, year. Is that like if you go to Oakland Community College and then you apply into Oakland University's program, if an Oakland Community College and a Macomb Community College person get the same level of smartness, the, they favor Oakland Community College? That's got to be what it is. Is that maybe, the same with maybe. the point, Hunter's points? I have no idea what you're talking about, Sheldon. I'll the, be the point system. So you have preference points, it says. Even if you don't get a tag, you get a preference point. You you gain a point. So um, that's like being favored for Oakland Community College. That means you're favored year after year after year. You have to get X amount of points. Once you get X amount, generally you're gonna be higher than everyone else, and then you're gonna get that license. Okay. Can you look up on the DNR on your stuff there, Zach, and see if you've got one point? Uh, I need. No, you should be able to go right into DNR. I know, but it's annoying. I need my driver's license, which oh. I think I have my Well, computer. I have mine. I have mine if you would like to. Oh, I don't, but I can give you my number. That's one thing you should know. Your driver's license number? Yes. No. Yes. I know my SOCH. <laughs> uh, That's I all I know. Yeah. So, so last year, Travis said we told Shelby to take the hunter safety last year when she was in the pop-up blind. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that was another <laughs> thing that you failed us on. So now, no ski jump, no <laughs> skydiving. Um, what was the and and no uh, hunter safety? Sk no skydiving, no skiing, no hunter safety. See, Travis knows his driver's license number. Do you know yours, Shelby? Um, I know. I think I. Try it. I think I know the first. The first letter. It's a well, Q. Obviously, it's a it's Q. It's a Q. Can I, is it something you can say? The, yep. No trumpet. No trumpet. That's another it, one that you failed. The trumpet on. one was a big one. Yeah. There were. I was getting hate like letters sent to the house of oh, people yeah. just disappointed. Well, I can't not. blame you. <laughs> I can't not. blame them. You know they get so excited on stuff like that. You know I finally give up on the twelve hundred and seventy two thousand eight hundred and sixty nine. Dog sled race. Oh, but it's about time you gave up on that. <laughs> Shelby said she was going to race in that next year. In the dog sled race? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. Well, and that is one thing that um, when we head to the UP here in June, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to our little uh, our little thing so we can find different stuff to stop at and check about? out. Where? Where? Uh, so I have um, seven points. Hunt, uh, I guess I don't know how to read this. It says license year uh, 2023, um, application blank or the number, yep. um, application status unsuccessful, uh, hunt code 007 uh, for the UP, hunt choice one and hunt choice two. Okay. Um, but it doesn't say, oh, they're, okay. I got one bear point, one uh, elk point. Okay. Elky, elky. Okay. Elky. So Can I dispute the balance? You think I could argue and <laughs> be a Karen and get some free uh, points? There you go. <clears throat> so that was the thing on the elk license. So um, I, I I did see a guy, and maybe I touched on it last week, but there was a guy that shot a record book elk in Michigan this year, and he also drew a cow tag back in like 30 years ago. And I personally don't think that's fair that, um, and life is not fair. I know, you know, he obviously, I haven't got my participation award yet, but so he drew two elk tags and you got people that, and not so much me because I was <coughs> applying for a while and then I didn't know you had to apply every year so that the government could get their $5 okay. or whatever it is. Mm. Oh, sorry. That's true though. I know. Because it's just... The, the fact that you have to rack up all these points just to get something. United States of, of America. America. Um, it says that May 1st. Good, right? May, May 1st, 1st is when, when you can apply. apply. Okay. That's two days and before go, my birthday. And Don't it goes. Forget. <laughs> I'll look for it on Facebook. <laughs> um, so that goes until when? June, doesn't it? Uh, May 1st to June 1st. Okay. Shelby's okay. going to apply this year for both that and elk. You know what's going to happen. Why? I'm going to She's going to draw. Both. She's yeah. going to fucking win. And She's then gonna, what do I do? You're going to shoot. You're going to go to Hunter Safety. And then you're going to shoot a monster elk or bear. I and then you're going to cry like a little baby. To. No. Shelby, that would be the cool, like, one time to say, like, that you shot that. But it could be right next to Larry. 
in the living room. Yeah. I and don't. Larry doesn't belong in the living room. They, <laughs> we could friggin' we could do like a, a traveling road trip. We'll bring in Prison Mark. He can take us <gasps> up here for I'm all. Going, of it. I'm yeah. going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> this is bullshit. I'm going. He can. He can bring. He can do the bear bait for us. Get that all set up. We stay at at uh, Stahava Ben Loggins. Uh, we got a place to stay. Is that where you do elk and bear hunting? No, that's where you do bear hunting. Elk would be in the lower in the lower. Uh, LP, I guess you could say. So, like where we are now. Yes, but but, but up like around Travers. Gaylord, Grayling, up in that area. Um, Timmer said, "If or I'll cancel my lifetime membership to CTP if Shelby does not wear the hat and accessories." Shelby, well, uh, why? Okay, Shelby, why this, I... this is huge he, pressure on you now. Okay, but we wh- can't lose Timmer. Listen, we but need can Timmer. I talk? <laughs> yeah, these are o- <laughs> these are only Canadian okay, guys. So, why would I not wear it? Because it makes me a little more suspicious. Because the more you keep talking about it, the more I'm like, wow, he's going to sign a clown wig. And I'm going to have to wear that. that so be... you're freaking me out. That would be cool. <laughs> That's the only way I can get a That's what he said, man. Here. Hey, it's all about ratings, Shelb. It's all about ratings. You do know Time that by the we tent have said like four, in Wisconsin, only, 4, only four hunters a year get picked uh, to hunt elk. And wow. yearly over 21,000 people apply. That's crazy. George so just said, Shelby, you get the picked, pressure's on you. Yes, it is. That's George. true. So if if you were one of the four hunters, it would be almost like people would be friggin' throwing tomatoes at you or something. If you get picked, you can never apply again in Wisconsin. See, and I um, think that's the way it should be in Michigan. For, well, for I mean, elk fair, anyway. Yeah. yeah, because... Where, where would we go hunting for elk? Not at Shady. No, you would go up around Gray, uh, Gaylord in North and there, Pigeon... Pigeon River up in that. There's there's certain Pigeon areas. Forge. No, Pigeon Forge is down south. Mm. Pigeon River is is up in the, uh, in the lower northern lower, and that's kind of where the elk I will hang listening. out at. Uh, I have a problem with that. I'll ask a question and then I just doze off. <laughs> and I'm just like that's because you got that heat over there kicking. No, it's just carbon monoxide. Yeah. <laughs> Travis said, Maybe that's if why she I wins, you must announce it on the show. If I win, what? If you get drawn. Oh, yeah, I would announce that. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I would friggin' drag her by the hair <laughs> over the to, ear. over to, oh, yeah. I'll, be, I'll do a Grandpa Larry on you with the ear, drag you to each one of the stations at the hunter safety. And I would say, write that down, <laughs> shoot that gun, pull the bow back. And a then bow? You, no, uh, I will not shoot a bow. Why not? Why? It smacks me in the arm. Well, you did before. You just get the anti-smacker thing that goes in your arm. It's true. Like a leather, yeah, like leather chaps, yeah. assless no. chaps. <laughs> bring, bring your assless chaps <laughs> since your legs are only three feet tall. Can you stop? <laughs> and I'm the, covering that. I'm cutting that button off. I love it. It's funny. You need to like take a chill pill, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wisconsin's elk herd is around four hundred. So, so they shoot four a year. So they're shooting what? Uh, that's what ten percent. A four hundred. Keep yawning. Yeah. So is that how it goes? Sure. I wonder what their cheese population is up there. A lot. They uh-huh. have. I love the squeaky cheese in Wisconsin. Not gonna lie on that. Um, we did bring back our cheese from uh, Aruba. Yeah. You did. Yeah, I got some in the freezer or in the fridge upstairs. Oh, it was friggin' delicious. So. How much you want to make a bet? I can throw a football over the mountain. What does that got to do with cheese? Nothing. I just love that one. Okay. Okay. I, I haven't heard what the dog doing so long. I, I, I think the freaking dog know. is dead. I played it. <laughs> when? I, don't I, know, I a couple of, I'll I have to know. look around to see where it's at. I don't even know where it's at. Okay, sir. After you running the board, tell me how easy it is. Oh, it was a piece of cake. <laughs> you're so annoying. Yeah, because uh, you know you're here with th- two other people that can why cover you. Bullying you. Me? You're, you're Why are you here? bullying me? <laughs> so that at least... Why are you bullying me? <laughs> uh, anyway. I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I probably could use some of that every now and again. Anyway, um, so where the hell are we? Where were we? Leaving tomorrow for Florida. Yep. Yep. It's going to be nice. Go down and play some golf. At this point, you might as well just get a private jet because the amount you just fly back and forth is insane. The, you know, the crazy part about it is I'm the cheapest guy out there. So I just look, I'll start out looking at Southwest, uh, Spirit, American, Delta, United, 
friggin' uh, Frontier, and I go the cheapest route. So I've got, like, I'm a spirit, whatever <coughs> the hell they member. Platinum, or whatever the hell you want to call it. And usually you can snoop around to get some, and that's why sometimes you got to leave on Wednesday. Yeah. Because you get better, you get better rates. Yeah, it's not that you get a longer vacation. Yeah, yeah. No. No. So not, it's not one less day of that. work. Yeah. Timmer said, we have 600 to 1,000 elk in my camp area, but no non-resident hunting opportunities. What does that, that mean? You, that means that no one around the area can can come up and actually hunt, but, but. we could go up there and drink beer while Timmer is out That's hunting. True. That's true. Why? Why do that? We can drink here while Timmer's <laughs> hunting. Don't come, then. Don't come. It, it would be fun. Okay, you didn't have to get all freaking mean. <laughs> didn't have to get all huffy, huff, Seriously. huff, huffy. Jeez, I didn't understand the joke. <laughs> Crucify me. There's no joke. This is serious stuff. Whatever, guys. <laughs> um. Canadian, can can Canadian Canadian beer is much better. Canada. No, Canada. Canadian. Who's Dane? Your Dane's his friend. Th- that could yeah. be. <laughs> that's your friend. Canadian beer is so much better, he says. See, that's the reason why. That's Canadian beer. Canadian beer is so much better. I like Molson. What other Canadian beer is there? Bad is sad. Uh, whoa, what did I say? <laughs> Karma. <laughs> Karma bad. is what, bad, what did you say? Bad is sad. Bad Badass said, uh, Shelby, all of us watchers still love you. Thanks, Eric. Even though you are going to wear the clown hat. I'm really, I'm kind of nervous about it because <laughs> if he just said, I'll send you a hat, I was like, okay, but he keeps talking about it. Hi, so Cooney. Like, oh, about Connie it. is Hello, here. Connie. Uh, da, da, da. Hope everything is well. Yep. What, what the hell did she say? Hope is... all is well. Wanted to say hi. Oh. Hi, everyone. Just got home from work. Hope all is well. Wanted to say hi. Wanted to sat hi. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah. I read if, over if, that. if we're getting right into, if we're getting into Timmer's shit, we might as well get into Connie's shit, That's true. too. True. So. Timmer says, hey, little one. Timmer, go home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Obi-Wan. You know, the nice, the nice part about it is I did is see they, ha- they have them lift shoes mm-hmm. now, so you'll be able to ride the rides at... Uh, Cedar Point now? If they're not Crocs, I'm not wearing them. No? You're a big Croc person? Oh, yes. Did you see? Oh, (laughs) while we were down in um, our trip, Shelby stood next to a sign that said, you need to be this tall. (laughs) (laughs) She still couldn't get on the water slides. (laughs) Did you see the friggin' new addition that Crocs have? It's a toe. A toe. A toe. toe That's awesome. It's a, a, toe, a toe gibbet. It's a toe that sticks right out of the friggin'. It's called a a gibbet. A gibbet? A gibbet. Like the charms? But it's a toe that sticks up. That was friggin' awesome. I did see that. I'm thinking. Oh that, yeah, that's weird. I'm thinking next time I'm getting myself some of them their boots or something, them Croc boots. Yeah, that's uh, you know what? That's a great thing that they do. Um, just because that's one more way of selling friggin' their shoes, their their products. Mm-hmm. So Jun- as genius. But those are not sold at Croc. Those are like. What do you call it? So off that's brand. a af- I almost said offshore. That's an aftermarket. <laughs> <Offshore. laughs> yeah, they had a whole friggin' uh, a case of them in that friggin' freighter that smashed the bridge. Yeah, oh, now they're going to take months just, to get them. Now they're, they're floating all over the river. <laughs> so now there's just a bunch of, t- <laughs> bunch of uh, toes in there. And you know what happens when it gets to the edge where the brick the bridge crashes? Hmm. You're going to have a, a toe jam. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you couldn't even get it out. You're so excited to say it. <laughs> He's crying. Yeah, that was good. I will, I'll, I'll, I'll give, it, give it to you. <laughs> oh. Every now and again, you can hit one out of the park like that. <laughs> you almost didn't get it out. You, you almost didn't hit it anywhere. That's true. <laughs> oh, just like the yellow duck race, a toe race. So, have you all seen the 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 ducks that people are putting in their jeeps? Yeah, mm. the rubber duckies. Yeah. So oh, now, yeah, they're everywhere. Now there's people that are pissed off because they don't have a Wrangler. Come here. You're getting distracted. 
So now they have people that are pissed off because you can't they you can't have the rubber duckies if you have like a uh, a liberty a, or a jeep pickup or a, you know stuff like that. It's all about the Wranglers now. So people are getting that they're like, how come I can't have uh, ducks in my jeep? And people are going, just go out and buy a freaking Wrangler, you putz. <laughs> I don't understand. It, it's a Jeep thing. Yeah. Yeah, but not like well, a Jeep compass thing. It's o- yeah, it's always been a it's Wrangler, a Wrangler thing. thing. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And they're bothered by that. But I like now they that, get a, that a Wrangler then. people are arguing about it, and they're they're actually pissed off <laughs> because they can't friggin' people won't do it. They I mean, won't. they can. It would, they would just look weird. So what do you do? You just put it on somebody's car? Uh-huh. Yeah. And you can get but a whole bunch of different styles, like... Oh. A regular just rubber ducky or a, a whole bunch of other things. Yeah, but just the like is... the toes. They they call it a jib jab with a duck. But the th- okay, so don't you ever hear like if you have a paper towel stuck in your door handle, don't touch it because it's like drugs or something. So if someone puts a rubber ducky on, you know it's not drugs. Well, if someone puts a rubber ducky on my car, I hope there's drugs in it. <laughs> <laughs> that way he can. Canceling that way. <laughs> He, if he wanted to do the drugs, he could like squeeze a ducky and it would okay, come out. Okay, okay. <laughs> it would okay. come out where the hole is, where the air hole is. That's enough. Put it right in the old air hole. Out the uh, below. The hole. B- below hole. So anyway, um, I'm getting ready to go to Florida tomorrow. I got my golf. So so did you see all the stuff I sold or I was selling? Yes. yes. Did you see them old piece of crap friggin' golf Underwear. clubs? No, the golf club. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> I put them up for 20 bucks thinking, okay, well, maybe someone will freaking do it. Well, uh, I got no bites on that, so I was going to uh, ship my putter. I bought a new putter. I was going to ship it down to Florida. Okay. They wanted $80 to ship it UPS, and I could load a bag, um, a, like a golf bag, for 69 or $70. One way or round trip? No, one way. Yeah. Um so and, uh, uh, not terrible. And I need to bring my clubs back because it's going to get warm, and yeah. then that way I can friggin' kick your ass. Yeah, um, right. Uh, uh, I you, didn't have rotator cuff surgery. You heard the story. This new putter is going to be the friggin' yeah, best thing since putt. sliced bread. I need to be a salesman if that's all I have to say. No, well, there you go. Give this me your, putter, give me your, give me your putter? best, your best sales line. Of first, what am I selling? A putter. Oh. Um, who, am I selling it to you? Yeah. Okay. This putter, this $1,000 putter. Yes, yes, yes. It's a single putt. You'll sink it every time. There's a magnet what connected happened? <laughs> from the ball. It goes from the putter to the ball to the hole. And every time single see, putt. See, I would have bought it if it was GPS located or if it had GPS in it, but it doesn't, so yeah. I think I'll go it's buy one from somewhere tap, else. Tap, tap, tap. Well, you put me on the spot. Yeah, no, but but that's a good a good sales guy. You sell guy. me one. You sell me one. So, uh, hey, you're you're here, you're looking for a putter? Hey, little girl, you want some candy? That's how <laughs> you started it. Hey, you're you're here, you so what are you looking for? Putter. Looking for a putter, eh? How long you been playing golf? About three years. <laughs> Two or three years? Three years. Well, you got to be a hell of a golfer then. No, not even close. Well, you know what will help your golf game? What's that? Check this putter out that we got. Yeah. This is a, it's a new putter. It's a titanium uh, Brasco putter. And it's got that. This is <laughs> probably some plumbing term. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff on the front of the putter, it's, it's very uh, forgiving. So when you hit that ball, even if you hit it a little bit left, it tends to like when you're when you're swinging your club, it wants to slice back over, so it will b- bring the ball back over to the right. So if you want to slice it one way, or if you want to drive it to the right, instead of hitting right at it, you just kind of pull your club as you're swinging through, pull it back through, and that that titanium brassica will send it right to the the uh, hole. I'm in. Um, Six hundred twenty-five dollars. I'm out. Oh. <laughs> How about if I give you ten percent off? How about 30? You know what? <laughs> you can get yourself a Home Depot card, and we can get you 10% off of the whole thing. Why is Home Depot selling cutters? <laughs> I thought I was at Golf Galaxy. Uh, yeah, I didn't say you were. 
Uh, Uncle our, Mark said to use it as use a. That's a great a idea. <laughs> they would totally smell your bullshit. That is a great idea. Or they should make putters. They should make golf clubs that fold up. Folding well, clubs? Yeah. Okay. Like, Just like the like, old fishing like, poles. No, <laughs> not like if, I mean maybe, but like the um, walking sticks for people that are blind. How they go compact? You pull them and then they fold. Can you imagine Chuck walking around the airport acting blind and smacking people on the ankles? No, okay, we're not making fun uh, of blind people. No, I wasn't either. I'm comparing, like, um, what do you call it? The compactness. That would be cool because they probably all fit in a carry That is true. So it's here, not a bad idea. So look up. So except you pull for when it you. And you lock it. No, you have to okay. twist and lock. So there's a lock like, on yeah, it. I mean, yes, okay. you have to. So look Pat up. Patent pending. Collab Patent pending yeah. Look up collapsible fishing pole. Years ago, they used to make a fishing pole. It was like like this long, and it was collapsed down so that you could put it in your suitcase. Jeff takes his, his fishing Jeffy. poles as a carry-on, but see, with Spirit, you can only take one carry-on. Yeah. Oh, it all it goes. Yeah. And then you but zip. they used to there used to be a, a they used to advertise it on TV. Okay. And I can't remember what the hell it was called. So if anyone out there remembers what the hell it was called, let us no, know. Stop it. Where'd Jimmy go? He knows go. everything. Is it is it ice cream social? Telesco a telescopic fishing pole? Yeah, but but years ago it was like a little pl <laughs> it was like a little plastic one. It was one of the very first ones that come out. Okay. So it was like made by friggin' <laughs> uh one of the old toy manufacturers or something like that. Fisher Price. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Something like that. That's how they got their name. Yeah. Fisher Price. Eight foot fly rod, three pieces. So that's the only thing you're bringing on is is your fly rod. My no. he's wearing seven pairs of underwear, <laughs> six <laughs> pairs of socks, thirteen shirts. Ronco, <laughs> check out the Ronco, Mister Fisherman. I think that's right. I think uh, that was quick. I, yeah, well, he's an old guy. No one here is is that old. Uh, Bradford says Zeno Fishomatic. Oh, also, nice. Jimmy has been here the whole time. Now we have a couple of them that we have to check. Timber says Ronco as well. Jimmy says Zepco. It's not a friggin' Zepco. I can say maybe it's a Ronco. Did Zeno. you look it up? Did you look, it up, look it up so we can see it? I got it up on There's nine. right here. Is that a Ronco? I mean, there's so many different brands. No, you have to type in Ronco uh, Pocket, Pocket Fisherman. Fisherman. It's thirty four ninety nine. I could buy one right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do they still make them? Yeah, really. <laughs> yep. It's got a belt clip too. Oh you yeah, can... there it is. <laughs> Wait, yep. this looks like a piece of gore belt. <laughs> <laughs> Click on it. That was one of the very first ones. There goes no offense, another. But they sell it at Walmart. There goes another brand sponsorship. <laughs> Shelby just said uh, it looks like a piece of garbage. You know what? Garbage. I'll bet you if they sell, if they send us one from Ronco, I will take it out fishing one day. Okay. And you know what we can do is let's go to one of the piers at like Port Huron or St. Clair. Okay. And we'll freaking go out and fish there. I'll, I'll <laughs> take Shelby's hat and Shelby will go. Wait, wait. This is this the only? It, it doesn't expand. It's just this. That's small. it. O M G. <laughs> So we'll we'll take it to we'll take it to the uh, thing to the pier and we'll go fishing with it. Me and you'll go up okay. there. We'll yeah. have a couple of them okay. and we'll some, wear some crazy ass outfit. Okay, I'm that down. would that would be cool. Yeah. So we don't. I don't want to spoil it, but I think your idea you sent out the other day really the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I don't Shelby like it. Shelby didn't like it. I don't like it. Uh, I I'm thought sorry. it would be kind of a fun thing to do. Yeah. You know. The but only reason she said no is because uh, she felt like we would be making fun of a specific type of person. I don't think we're making fun of anyone I don't either. It's, it's I think play, it's, it's like a play on words, but a play on that. I I don't know. That's just me. you know what. Fuck them. We should do it anyways. <laughs> well, maybe we should put it out to the to listeners. No, no, because no, I want can. it to be okay. a surprise. Okay. What it's going to be is it will be you. Standing next to Shelby, she's gonna be no. wearing all the stuff Tim Rickett sends her. No, <laughs> and I'm gonna have a couple cameras from like a hundred yards away, and I'll zoom in super close. I I think that would be fun as hell. I it would be. It, I think it'd be cool. So in, in if I had to, I could do it in our own hometown here. That way, people would <laughs> see me. That's true. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, all right, it's eight oh five. Don't want to keep these <laughs> poor uh, people here too long tonight. Got to be up at four o'clock. Uh, who you do? Yes, we both. Me do. too. 
Yeah, I'll no, give you, it. you're going to be on the road at 4 o'clock. Yeah, I probably will be. Four I probably will be. Anyway, um, everyone, has everyone hit that thumbs up? If you haven't yet. Now's the time. Don't come back next week. Oh, <laughs> please do. Please come back. <laughs> come back. <laughs> so what's your what's your big fantastic? Um, fan- oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fantastical. Why did not say it was fantastic? You did say it was fantastic. I said I, said I was excited about it because I think it's cool. It's nerdy, and that's why I like it. Did you see what Badass said? Of course. No. What did he say? He said, I've never heard of a pocket fisherman, but I have heard of pocket, pocket pool. pool. Like pool? Like yeah. billiards? Yeah. No, like check it He's out. He's playing with like a stick swimming? and balls and all. Oh. <laughs> Why do you always you guys always have to like do something? Like that? <laughs> it's just pocket pool. No. It's uh, a it's a miniature pool set that you put in okay, your pocket. Okay, but you could have just said yes. You didn't have to like Oh, sorry. Yeah. You know the the funny <laughs> part about the the great thing about this is not you even interested. So, <laughs> some of the stuff you live you lived a sheltered life with I mom and no, dad. Don't say that. That's not nice. That's uh, insulting. Uh, I did not live a sheltered life. Well, you just didn't get the dark humor that comes from the Tom family. Correct. It's different. Okay, give us that fantastic friggin' uh, uh, thing there. It's a fun fact. Uh, I'm ready. So today's fun fact. Wait, wait. Okay. Connie, pictures or it didn't happen. You are terrible. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> throwing it out there. Not funny. Timmer says, "See you, little one." <laughs> uh, anyway, go ahead. Okay. So, I'm just waiting for you to, to start saying something else because you did it the last three times. No, don't do that. It's I'm not sorry. that cool. It's not that cool. No. Your brain has no pain receptors. You can't feel pain in your brain. Well, then why do they say no pain, no gain in your brain? <laughs> <laughs> they don't say that. Oh, I thought they did. But they can, um, like, that's why when people have brain surgery, they stay awake. Because certain parts really? of the brain affect your speech, affect your... Um, well, so that to way... To make sure that they didn't that screw stuff. anything up, they right. make you talk during... Yes, they make you talk during surgery. And okay. I, I like that. And, <laughs> and when... <laughs> He's thinking. No, I, I'm just looking at, at Timmer's guy here. Okay. That's what I, you're going to look like next I week. I think that when you sign off, you should do the whole salute thing um, from here on out. Oh, you have to salute with your right hand, right? So... Is Here like on out, that way you're practicing when okay. you get your hats. That's true. Okay. That way you'll be able hats, to... Hats, I get more than one hat. Well, we'll the hat. find out. Hat. Yeah. hat. You're getting a hat and you're getting a face mask as well. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a clown wig and face paint. Uh, uh, I hope you at least, you know what you could do. <laughs> never mind. What? Uh, never mind. I'm, I'm not going to say you it. can say it off camera. It's probably <laughs> not PC. Anyway, are we ready? I'm ready. So get us out of here. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning into our live stream tonight, even though Zach tricked us and started it early and didn't tell us. Um, But we really appreciate you being here tonight and spending your Tuesday evening with us. If you haven't yet, please hit that like button and let us know that you enjoyed tonight's live stream. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified every Sunday uh, at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when we post a new video on the CTP channel and every Tuesday at around 7 p.m. when we go live in the CTP studio. And head to our channel, Small Town Laser Creations. Um, we are, what was that? Nothing. Oh, um, head to our channel, Small Town Laser Creations, where we will be posting some content about um, our small business. Cool. All set? All set? Yeah. I, I just want to add one thing. <laughs> it's nice that Super K showed up yeah. when we're closing the show. Yeah, Hi, I, I'm thinking that maybe she forgot that we started at 7. Yeah, it's not like she's only been here for 63 yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's okay. That's okay. So, anyway, don't forget, Charlie the Plumber, one of the few things in life you get for free, even on the internet. With that being said, see ya! Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Yes, I am very jealous.